Hello friends, in this tutorial we are going to see the installation of MS SQL Server 2019 Developer Edition. First we will see how to download the set of files from internet. Go to my.visualstudio.com and uh, if you have a Microsoft account you can log in and if you don't have you can uh, sign up with your Gmail or any account you have. Once you have signed up you log in with the current the account you have created and there you can download any Microsoft product you want type uh, in search for whatever you want and we are, today we are going to download the setup of MS SQL Server 2019 and type MS SQL Server 2019 developer and uh, click search button it will provide the setup file link and select any file any format you want DVD, DVD file, ISO file or extracted file whatever you want you choose and click download it will ask you to save in my case I already downloaded let's move to my downloaded file and this is a file that I have downloaded in ISO format. I have accepted uh, by using WinRAR. And go to the extracted folder and click Setup Run as Administrator. And click Yes. It will uh, redirect to one new window. In that window, you have to select the Install from the left, left panel. It will take uh, some time, depends upon your hardware. Uh, if you have high configuration system, it won't take much time. Click installation from the left panel. And in that, uh, click new SQL Server standalone installation. And this is the first page. You can select any edition you want, Devolution, Developer, Express. And I have selected Developer and Click next. It won't ask any uh, key for the edition. And this is a license document. Read all the right license document and accept and click next. This is a global uh, pre check for SQL Server installation. And click next. It will check all the prerequisites files. If you don't have anything, Please click next. If you have anything, you just install first that prerequisite file and click next. There you have to select all or uh, in, anything you want, you just uncheck and please further. Move further. I have selected all the items that I needed. This is the important place whether you want SQL Server in a default instance or named instance. Default instance is nothing but it will take it from current user current windows user default instance you can provide any name for your data source in my case i have selected default instance it will automatically take it from my system user system name as well as my login name and click next take some time depends upon your hardware and click the first one and uh, move further click select SQL Server standard and polybase configuration and click next and there you have to configure uh, whatever you want it uh, in automatic whatever you are going to start it manually configure all those things and uh, click next And this is a uh, place where you have to specify whether you want uh, your SQL Server in a Windows application mode or System Administrator SA mode. Please always uh, prefer SA mode that is very secured one. In Oracle we are uh, called as Sys user, in SQL Server we call it as System Administrator SA user. Please provide your uh, secure password. And uh, right now we don't have any user uh, to configure. You select the current user by clicking add current user. It will uh, select your current system source and there you will see my system default source and click next here also same select the add current user button and click next add current user and move further And provide your uh, name for distributed replay client 
any name you want you can provide and click next and that's all that's all we are uh, in the final step of installation click next install. it will take uh, some time to finish the installation and we are about to finish that's all dear friends our uh, database engine has been successfully installed one more thing uh, we need to install the ssms sql server management studio we will see how to download the setup from internet google and uh, type download SSMS, ssms and click the first link that we got and it will redirect to the official microsoft website and here you can able to see the link by clicking the link you can download the setup file from the internet in my case i have already downloaded the ssms setup before that uh, make sure your uh, version compatibility the version you have it will support up to up to from windows 8.1 to windows 10 and server wise it will uh, support from windows server 2008 or 2 from current windows server 2019 and this is a set of file that i have downloaded and right click the set of file and click run as administrator this is a, in this page you click install it will check the prerequisites dependency files and we have start the installation that's all dear friends we are about to finish uh, that's all our setup has been successfully installed now we can open up our uh, SQL Server Management Studio client. Go to start and uh, click the SSMS currently we have installed. That's all dear friends, our Management Studio console uh, has been successfully installed and provide the authentication mode of SQL Server authentication and put your SA and secure password and you can connect your management studio with your database engine. That's all dear friends. I hope uh, this installation video helpful for you. If you like my videos, you can share with your friends and uh, subscribe my page for regular updates.